Lol, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I wanted to explode a common myth about Mary, Mother of Jesus. The uh, myth is that she was this young, virginal girl, but it simply isn't true. I'm, and I'm going to use biblical information to prove that. It simply isn't true. Now, the first thing we need to look at is human lifespans. I ran across this uh, 2009 article by Life Science. Human lifespans are nearly constant for 2,000 years. So old back then was old today. Beginning this, old back then was old is the same thing as old today. Having said that, what does this have to do with Mary? Well, we're going to go in the Gospel of Luke. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias, of the course of Abia. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth was his wife. They were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. And they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they were both were now well stricken in years, meaning they were old. Now for the purposes of this discussion since old Today was the same as old back then. I'm going to hazard a guess, let's say 50, 55-ish. I came to pass while well, he executed the priest's office before God in order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office. His lot was to burn incense when they came, went into the temple of the Lord. I'm going to skip down, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said, Fear not, Zacharias, for your prayer is answered, and your wife shall bear a son, and you shall call his name John. You shall have great joy and sadness, gladness, not sadness, gladness. And many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. So on and so forth. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip a lot of stuff. And we're going to go down here. So the angel's talking to Mary, and the scriptures say, Behold thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. I'm going to say that again. Thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her was called barren. So, here's the Bible basically saying that her cousin was old. This is the key part here. Her cousin was old and she had a child. So I'm going to give this the benefit of the doubt and say 50 to 55. Somewhere in that range. Now, what does that make Mary. How uh, was I have to do with Mary? Well, cousins, and there is a discussion that she was fourth cousin, it's a big long technical thing. I'm just going to go with cousins. Cousins are where you have, obviously, two siblings, and each sibling has a child, and those children are cousins. So if Elizabeth, Follow along. If Elizabeth was 50, 55 ish, maybe 60 at this time, 
then her parents would be well up in the 70s or 80s, probably, you know, around 80, something like that. If they're still alive, which we don't know, we can't tell from this. So if her parents were in their 80s, then they're quite old, by today's standards as well. It's old as old. And one of those is sibling of the mother or father of Mary, Mother Jesus. You following along? In other words, one of Elizabeth's parents, and it's hard to tell which one from this, was the sibling of one of Mary's parents. You don't know which one. Well, that means that Mary's parents, even if I lop off 20 years from that, let's say we lop off 20 years from say Mary's parents were 60s, 60s, whatever, in their 60s. So a generation is roughly 20 years, and if you subtract 20 years from that, you get 40. And that would be an approximate age of Mary, Mother of Jesus. The point here being is that we can kind of guesstimate the age of Mary, and she was not this young virgin like we've been taught. I would submit that 40 is a good general idea. Could be as young as 30. Could be older than 40. When she bore Jesus, but she was not this young girl. In fact, I'm gonna have to reshoot a scene on my uh, 2018 Mars Station. Mars Station opener, 2018 opener, because I used the two young Mary before I started realizing, hey, this is not a young girl. She may have been a virgin, I'm not disputing that, but she was not a young girl. That matters for accuracy's sake, folks. You may not like it, but it matters for accuracy. Well, She's being portrayed as this 18-year-old virgin female who got impregnated by the Holy Ghost. Sorry, maybe she was a vir virgin, but she was not this young girl that we've all been taught. Um, I know I'm going to catch hell for this, but... All I do is I go by what the Bible says and I draw conclusions based on what the Bible says. Now, if you're a Bible thumper and you're sitting there saying, thump, 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 this is heresy, how dare you, thump, thump, thump. This is blasphemy, how dare you, thump, 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 thump. We're Christians, thump, 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 thump. I'm sorry. But if you're not willing to accept what's in your own Christian Bible as truth, I would su submit that singing of thump, thumping the Bible, thump, 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 won't be any good with me. Because I go with facts, not with uh, loud thumping of a Bible. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.